Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Invoxia Tribi. This is an interesting sub $200 smart speaker that combines the elements that we loved from the Amazon Echo, so it has voice recognition, a form of early AI, uh, with the fact that once it's connected to your Amazon account, you can just tell it things like give you your weather update or, uh, you know, play your favorite song, and it's going to answer those commands by doing it. But what really makes the Tribi unique is it's meant as a centerpiece for your kitchen uh, and combines this kind of early vision that a lot of companies have had of uh, the kitchen being the center of the house, and it has this bulletin board, which is made out of an ink display which is an electronic paper, and it takes no energy at all once the display isn't changing. Through an app, which uh, works with both iOS and Android, you can then customize what's displayed on the bulletin board for your family and friends. They doodle and draw on the app, and once someone sees it, this uh, cute little flag pops off the side, and someone can tap on it to notify the Tribi that the message has been read. But more than that, the Tribi really does attempt to do a ton of different things. Uh, it's cute looking, it's a smart speaker, it's a bulletin board, it's a radio that's uh, internet connected. So we'll take a quick look first at the hardware of the Tribi just to find out a bit more about it. There are two stereo speakers located on the bottom here, which actually do get quite loud. As far as uh, music performance is concerned, these aren't the best speakers in the world, but they do get impressively clean and crisp sounding, especially for a wireless speaker. Um, they tend to have a bit of static or, dis or distortion in the background if you turn the volume all the way up or all the way down. But on here, they were fairly clean, even as we were playing back local tracks from our phone uh, or if we wanted to stream tracks from you know over Wi-Fi on the internet. Um, as far as bass, there's a little bit of thump and the lower frequencies could be a bit punchier, but again, the drivers on here are a bit more limited by the size since this uh, is also magnetic. So the back features two very strong earth magnets, allows you to attach it onto a refrigerator or onto a magnetic surface so that when it's on the kitchen, it can be displayed uh, more prominently. Otherwise, the top here also features some quick shortcuts which you can program through the app to do things like call someone uh, very easily or navigate through the main UI. And the LED on the very top here, the power on-off switch also dubs as a play-pause key in addition to volume controls for changing the loudness of the speaker. This is a voice-guided speaker, so when it's first pairing pairing with your phone or connecting for the very first time, it's going to guide you through the entire process with uh, preset software commands. So if we take a quick look at the app next and kind of show you guys how that process works, um, it's just you know, called Tribi and you can download it for free just from the Play Store or from the iOS Store. So set this off to a side for a quick second. This is what it looks like. It's again free to download. And uh, once you have it paired, you you know how you can actually download this app from multiple devices and multiple phones. And uh, of course, your name will, your profile will change, but uh, you can then say something like hello, and then that will be sent to the ink display on the top here uh, fairly quickly. It took about uh, three to four seconds. It's an ink screen, which is the same technology used on Kindles and ebook readers. So every single time it refreshes, it's a bit of a blink to kind of remove what's already been displayed on the screen. And I can also add a new message here by just drawing something else like test for instance um, I can also change maybe uh, you know the orientation and when I'm done I can just send it out uh, pretty easily so that is one application there the center here is for calling purposes so I've connected to my Tribi here and I can then use this to you know call people or contacts on my phone once it's been synced up properly and that worked fairly well there's a mag there is a microphone on here it's not a noise canceling mic but um, it does well enough even if there's some background chatter or noise it makes for a good kind of speakerphone so even if you want to use this for business purposes um, and communi communicating with groups of people, it does work fairly well because it gets quite loud with the speakers and the microphone is clean enough uh, for most folks, I would say. Here we have the radio services part, which uh, you can see here, we already have a growing catalog of apps that uh, will be supported. I believe that the current software on here is still considered as beta, but hopefully that's going to be updated soon. So for instance, we have a few local radio stations as well as internet radio stations I can download and then play back using the Tribi. Um, if I want to. And of course, I can also load up local tracks on my phone and just use it as a traditional Bluetooth speaker. Battery life here is rated at around uh, uh, six to eight hours of uh, usage, depending on if you also are using the other features. Um, that's about accurate, I'd say. So decent battery life. After you use it for a while, you just give it a charge and then you're ready to go again. So again, these are some of the radio stations you have access to. And if I scroll all the way down here, I can you know, learn more information about a specific channel or play or pause this uh, radio channel. So a very wide selection is available. Tapping on this key here goes through my local files if I want to search through that. 
And uh, if I go to settings here, you can see that Tribi beta version 1.3.5 is the software, bugs, uh, changing, adding new groups that people can join if they're connected within my family for this uh, unit, they all work out. So if I wanted to tap on kind of me here or uh, take a quick look, I can again customize the different buttons here to do specific tasks. And um, again, if I wanted to learn more, uh, let's say about this specific Tribi, I can tap on that Tribi here and I can change what's displayed when I don't want a bulletin board up on the e-ink display. So options can include clock and temperature. It looks fairly neat. There's also a room temperature uh, display which takes advantage of a sensor on here that displays it in degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. And as, as you can see here, we can have a few other things like updating the Wi-Fi, removing this device, connecting to another Tribi. You can connect to multiple ones using one app, as well as setting up your Amazon Alexa service uh, through the Amazon account. Account, Spotify, Connect, all of these other features on here that you can program. So Alexa is a free service. If you tap on this, it allows you to set it up a bit more easily. So at the core, if we talk about the Alexa, Alexa service, which um, um, you know Amazon made open source just to promote this a bit more so that other manufacturers should be coming out as well with uh, similar smart connected speakers, um, it worked very well. Uh, it's an always on speaker. So if you just call it, uh, you know, hey Alexa, it will hear that command and then you can proceed to tell it what you want to do, such as give me the current temperature and it will pull that up for you. Um, and the fact that it has a display here also takes advantage of maybe further software updates that can display things as well as uh, read back things simultaneously, which is quite unique. However, you know, it's not quite as sensitive as the um, Amazon Echo because the Echo takes advantage of these omnidirectional microphones that surrounds the circular base, uh, whereas this is really just one center microphone here. So depending on where you are in the room, if you just say Alexa, it might not hear you 100% of the time, but when it does hear you, it does remain fairly accurate and the software is responsive and quick. Something I want to quickly point out about the Wi-Fi on here is it uses only 2.4G. Uh, so if you have a 5G router, for instance, it's not going to connect the first time. It also can't connect to public hotspots. So there are a few limitations, uh, but as long as you're in the house and you kind of configure things, the first time takes a few minutes, uh, you'll be ready to go. And setting things up for the first time is also very simple. It just proceed through a series of steps on the app. It will find the trippy and you'll be done. So again, a few limitations I'd say of the Tribi at the moment is that the software again is still in beta, which means that I've had a few instances where it said it would crash, but uh, the app itself didn't physically close. It just had this pop-up message um, that uh, showed up every once in a while. But as far as streaming services, as well as the smart communication services, they worked fairly well and it didn't have any issues there. As a speaker itself, it also delivers in terms of audio quality, as we talked about, fairly clean sounding, good for pop music, electronic music, for radio broadcasting, no issues there gets quite loud. So if we want to take a quick look at uh, powering this on and maybe uh, if we want to pair it again, you can see I tap on this for a few seconds. It's going to start and take about one minute to boot up just to get all the uh, components, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi powered up as well as the software. If it's been synced to the phone, it finds it automatically again and then you know, you're ready to go. So this process is pretty simple. There's not anything too much going on. You can see there's a tiny amount of ghosting on here, which is typical of e-ink screens. Um, I like this whole retro look. And, uh, and Voxy also sells these optional bumpers, which you can use to pop on and kind of change the overall uh, design and color scheme. So here I have the Tribi actually attached onto a wall. It's a frame, a door frame, but it's magnetic. And you can see that it attaches pretty firmly. It's not going to drop out and it's easy to reposition as well. So um, if you want to get it somewhere that's closer to where you work or to where you're sitting so that when you say, hey, Alexa, it's going to hear you a bit, bit, bit better. That is uh, pretty easy to do. It stays very well in place. It doesn't drop out accidentally. The handle is a nice touch. So if you are traveling, it's easy to take with you. But you can see even if I use just one magnet, there's two on either side of the strip, it still remains uh, firmly in place. So if you have a flat surface or even a slightly curved surface on a refrigerator, it should work quite well. So at the end of the day, the Invoxia Tribi, I'd say, is a fairly unique uh, all-in-one smart speaker that also is the center of your kitchen or attempts to do that. It unifies all these features. Um, and you know it's a very interesting, it's a very compelling product that uh, tries to throw everything in. And for the most part, I think it's successful. It's an exciting, innovative product that we haven't seen before. And at sub $200, it's really worth it, I think, if you, um, you know, are trying to invest in a more powerful as well as future-proof speaker that is uh, has a ton of smart features baked in and the speaker quality is good as well. So you can check out more details about this in our official RIN review, which is coming out soon. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Invoxia Tribi Smart Speaker.